morning, everybody. Uh, good to be back. I hope you had an interesting day yesterday. You thought it was interesting. You had a good content session for you to be delivered. I must say I enjoyed it a lot. I thought uh, the, the, the vibe of all the things coming together is giving me really positive um, spirit. So today I think we just do a short intro. Um, Francesco will introduce a little bit around the labels that we already talked about now in the press conference just a few minutes ago what they are, why uh, we are uh, issuing them, and also um, basically what the plan is behind them in terms of the timeline. And um, handing it over to you. Yeah. Uh, before talking about the labeling, I wanted to say that yesterday was uh, extremely interesting. I'm very happy about the day. And I picked up a few um, lessons learned, maybe, that I wanted to share with you. One was... Uh, uh, Digitize or get digitized, that I, I, I liked it from Max. That's a very important uh, statement. The other one is uh, have a bold vision and uh, a humble execution. And I think this uh, is very much what we're doing. And the third one is convergence and coherence. We have different souls in Gaia X. We have the users, the providers, the small, the big ones, but one body. And I really liked it, and I think yesterday was one of the most, the strongest message um, I received being in the audience. Now, today we're going to have this uh, second day where um, Hubert will guide us through an extremely interesting panel of uh, representatives from the governments. And before going into the live session, I wanted to spend a word. We're going to have a couple of very interesting announcements. This is one, and Max will give another one in the closing notes uh, at the end of the day. And the first announcement is about the labeling. So we have been working about the concept of Gaia-X labels for quite a long time. Uh, quite a long time, a few months to be honest, but in Gaia-X terms is a long time. And uh, we are very proud to announce that the first uh, issue, the first version of the labeling document will be published uh, shortly and uh, there will be a press release uh, going out very shortly. What are the labels? We've been dis debating, discussing, and reasoning about what a label for Gaia X should have been. And we came to the conclusion that we have to be innovative. So one of the first mantra uh, that we adopted was regulation by automation. What I mean by that is that we need to help organization not increasing the overload of certification or cost of you know, um, uh, understanding new standards, but we need to make it easy and adoptable. So we decided that the way we do labels has to be as much as possible automated. And we also decided that we are not going to define what users need to use. So if a state, if a trade organization, in a trade association in any sector decides that they want a specific label, they have to be able to define it because they have the trust, the credibility, and the brand to do that. This cannot be Gaia-X. So we decided to build a labeling framework. In other words, it's a, a piece of technology that will be part of the Gaia-X foundational components and will allow for the verification of the service credentials and will verify the rule book of a label. So we have defined three labels. Label one, label two, and label three. Label one is the basic label which requires the verification of all the set of compliance criteria defined by GAIA-X, which is the result of the work being, do being done by the Policy Rule Committee, the Data Space Business Committee, the Technical Committee. And is also aligned with the ENISA level uh, basic and the following evolution of that. Level two is level one plus the mandatory option to provide that service from within the European territory. It's an option, but it's mandatory. Level three is level two, plus the mandatory requirements to have the service operated within Europe by European providers, preventing access from non-European, uh, preventing non-European access. Level two, so I said level one is aligned to ENISA level basic, level two is aligned 
to the um, initial level substantial, so-called, and future evolution of it. And level three is aligned with the initial level high and future evolution. Why we are aligning to ELISA? Because ELISA is an evolving uh, standard and we believe is going to group all the different interpretations of, uh, of security. So we decided to be aligned with that and their evolution. But like I said, the most important thing of this labeling framework, it is adaptable to the definition of new labels. So we are going to be label issuers, but anyone can become a label owner. So the government of France, of Germany, or Italy, the Trade Association for Banking, for insurance in any country can decide they want to build their own label. So they will define a label rulebook. They will come to us if they want, and we will become label issuer of that label. So I think this is a very interesting and innovative concept, and we try to implement innovation in these terms. Regulation by automation, labeling framework, and not just stickers. This is going to be announced soon, Basilia. I don't remember when uh, it's going to be published, but in the next few days. Yeah, in a few days.